Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic day and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. This is the first foot champs of FIFA 21 edition. So we're going to have a look at your foot champs squads and talk about improvements on how you can up your team. Now, if you're playing foot champs this weekend, let me know in the comments down below what your record is. I am intrigued to see what your guys' records are. Uh, I love reading in the comments and seeing you guys' uh, feedback on the videos and, and how you're doing on FIFA and things like that. Uh, so make sure you leave a comment down below. I'm also looking for uh, YouTube moderators in the comments down below. Uh, that essentially means people that can, you know, uh, uh, delete comments of people that are being like mean or, or toxic in the comments, things like that. Uh, so I'm just looking at people that are commenting all the time to, to sort of mod them uh, to be a part of the team, I guess, and, and to sort of uh, help with the channel. So uh, I'm always looking out for those. If you guys are interested, then just get in those comments down below. Anyway, we're starting off this episode with uh, Matthew Senior. Uh, love the content. Well done on your weight loss. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate that. You inspired me so much. I'm glad to hear it. You've got 60,000 coins. Can you help? Let's have a quick look. Okie dokie. So I see a lot of people using Tiago Silva, and usually I'd be like, get away from Tiago Silva. But to be honest, I don't think Thiago Silva is actually that bad this year. Uh, I know he's not got a lot of pace at all, but his defensive awareness is really good. And I think he's in a really good position most of the time. I, however, disagree with Fernandinho next to him. I would say Suchek and Fernandinho are your biggest, weakest links in this squad here. I would say replace Fernandinho with maybe Davinson Sanchez. I believe he's actually uh, gone down quite a lot recently. If we have a look on Footbin real quick, um, a lot of players have dropped in price quite a lot. Are we still holding a 40,000 coin value? You're on Xbox, 36k. I get Davinson Sanchez over on the right center back spot. Let's have a look at Fred. Can you afford both of them? I wonder if Fred is still at a high value. 32k, 22k on Xbox. On Xbox, you can actually afford to get Davinson Sanchez and Fred for Sushek and um, Fernandinho. So that is probably the route that I would go to to improve your team. But the rest of it is really, really strong. Uh, I like how you called it Pace FC because then you've got Hamez and Thiago Silva. That's quite funny. Uh, we've got a surface prawns team now. I've got 40,000 coins for improvements. De Jong, Tonali and Marquinhos are the intradables. Any suggestions? Keep up the good work. Let's have a quick look, mate. I, okay, so when I used Insigne in the Road to Glory account, wasn't a big fan of him. He just... He, he didn't have enough on the ball for me. I actually think, genuinely, a, a card you could have a look at. Now, I'm not saying go and buy him straight away, but it might be worth having a look at. Saving towards is this Lozano inform card. As a right winger, I think he'd be actually pretty solid in your team. Uh, I don't know what it is about Insigne. Just too small, too weak. I don't know. Didn't like him personally, whereas this card has a little bit more to his game. Um, I would say uh, maybe saving up for Lozano is a pretty decent shout. Uh, aside from that, if you can get some fodder together with Div Rival Rewards and Foot Champions, maybe trying to get the Ansu Fati Player of the Month card might not be a bad shout either. Uh, if you can grind towards it, I'm sure that'll be a massive improvement for your squad as well. But the rest of it's pretty decent. I like the link over here on the right side. Um, you've got a nice defense. Edo Mattel is absolutely solid. Obviously, eventually, you can improve your defense uh, by getting, say, Diego Carlos at right center back and getting a different right back. But until then, I think that you're doing really well with this team uh, and you've got some really nice and tradables. Uh, we're going with a next team now it's going to be uh joe's team i play a 442 in game and i've got about 10,000 coins in the club at the minute uh but by thursday i can have about 50k think i need a new center back for a kanji just don't know who to go for love the vids and the streams let's check it out mate what's wrong with the kanji i actually think he's quite solid this year he uh i find it hard to get past him this year what is um what is it what is it that you don't like about a kanji i mean or, or sorry a kanji i mean Right, a great option you could go for. It depends who you don't mind playing off chemistry. If you don't mind your right centre-back being off chem, Klosterman's a great shout. If you do mind it, I would say maybe going with... Uh, uh, maybe go with Diego Carlos and save up for the Diego Carlos Militao as a partnership. That could work. And then Neto in goal. Um, depends who you, who you would prefer to keep on chemistry. The rest of the squad is really strong. Rodrigo has been so difficult to play against this weekend. It's been really, really irritating. I just, I don't know what it's about him. He's just really OP. But that's a really good squad, mate. I like the squad a lot. Uh, we've got Has the Swasby. Nice, mate. Good, <laughs> good name. Uh, this is what he's rocking. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Uh, I would say uh, a big improvement you can make to this squad is swapping Havertz and Pogba and getting Sane at left mid when you can afford it. I would say uh, Defo going for that. I would say at left centre back, you could possibly improve as well. Maybe putting Davinson Sanchez to the left and getting yourself. Um, who would be a good shout? Ake might not be a bad shout. Uh, Laporte is decent and got good defensive awareness, but 
in my opinion, this year, the hardest defenders to get around are just the fast, strong defenders, like people like Ake and things like that. So maybe uh, that's the next play. But apart from that, you've got, in my opinion, the best right back in the game, which is Nelson Semedo. He's unreal. You've got one of the strongest left back uh, left backs in the game in Alfonso Davies. You've got a really strong midfield and you've got a good attack. So the rest of the team is actually really, really good. Uh, we've got Ferguson's team now. Untradables are Diong and Sifati and the budget is 60,000 coins and I play a 4-3-2-1 in game. Sub off Griezmann for Inaki Williams. 4-3-2-1. Interesting. Okay. Um, What would I say? Wait. Why do you sub off Griezmann? It, I would honestly say, bro, the best thing you could do here uh, would probably be get rid of Marquinhos for Eder Militao, get rid of Renan Lodi for Alaba, and just start Inaki Williams on full chem. I mean, the, it it seems illogical to me that you sub a player off. like, And even if you just start Inaki Williams at striker, uh, obviously, uh, you know, you won't be able to afford to buy Eder Militao and uh, Alba, I don't think, straight away. Jordi Alba. But if I said Alba, by the way, I apologize. Sometimes I make that mistake. I'm just catching myself in case I did. But I think that you can already start Naki Williams on full cam anyway because he gets the anti fatty link and the, on the orange link to Thiago Alcantara. So it's not worth subbing a player off. Subbing a player off, I think it's waste of sub and, uh, and, and sometimes it actually ruins the momentum of the game as well. We've got a FIFA team here. Uh, love the videos. I've got 200,000 coins and Havertz, uh, VDB uh, and Defense are tradable. The bench is untradable. I'm looking to improve the squad, but don't know how. Any suggestions, bro? Also play Zaha on 7 chem sometimes, but don't know if Rafinha or Zaha is better. 4-4-1-1 in game. Hmm. Interesting. 4-4-1-1. This is an interesting squad. So what I would say, although I like Donny van der Beek a lot, I think that you might want a bit more pace in the midfield. With 200,000 coins, you can do that quite easily. There are a few different options as Prem midfielders, uh, and I guess we can have a quick look down the uh, down the line of Prem midfielders, and uh, we could talk about you know a few different options and why I think they'd work and why they wouldn't work in my opinion. You've already got Gabamin, who is a uh, who is a decent defensive-minded midfielder, so you might be wanting to look at an offensive midfielder, uh, an all-round box-to-box. Uh, a good shout is Wijnaldum for ninety thousand coins. He is a very very strong midfielder this year and was actually in my team for a very long time until I upgraded. Um, he is very very good. If you don't mind pace and you're looking for someone that can dribble and have great uh, passing i know i selected the ones to watch but it's normal cards a lot cheaper you can go with thiago uh this card five star skills great dribbling good passing uh would be really strong uh however if you're looking for someone that's maybe a bit faster a bit more uh, physical i wouldn't go for him uh you can go with thomas party i think he'd be a really decent uh kind of powerhouse of a midfielder 130k uh again more defensive minded but Pretty good all well rounded as a powerhouse midfielder, like I said. Uh, you can go with Bruno Fernandes. He is more of an offensive midfielder with a good uh, defensive ability as well. That would work pretty well, in my opinion, um, as a, a offensive minded, uh, high stamina, high work rate, uh, kind of box to box midfielder. Uh, and of course, you can save up and get yourself Paul Pogba, who in my opinion is probably the best shout and well suited to your team. Apart from that, though, uh, I would say for the rest of your squad, I, I think your your future upgrade points are going to be left back and right back. You know, if you can get yourself a Nelson Semedo or a Cancelo or a Kyle Walker at right back and you can get yourself a uh, Robertson, Alex Tellez or... Region at left back. That's a big improvement. I like Rafinha. I think he's decent at right wing. I don't think that uh, I wouldn't play personally Zaha and Seven Chem over him. Uh, and the rest of the team, the rest of the team is very strong. I think it's very decent. Maybe try Zaha over Jota. That might work pretty well. But apart from that, the rest of the team is really, really solid. We've got Stewart's team now. Uh, I play a four four two. Galaxy and Kimmich and the whole bench are in trade. We've got twenty five thousand coins. What should I do? This is a good squad. This is a really good squad. I wouldn't do anything right now. I wouldn't change anything at the minute. I think that this team is in a really good place right now. I would say future upgrades are Renan Lodi and Carrasco out. Alfonso Davies and potentially Sane, but maybe Komen in. Komen's the cheaper option until you can afford Sane, but Sane is the end goal because he is phenomenal. I would say a future uh, improvement would be Kimmich out for Goretzka in. Uh, and then another future upgrade, in my opinion, would be uh, Bernardo Silva and Cancelo out. Nelson Semedo and Adama Traore in. I think that they would be big future upgrades for your team. I think your attack doesn't need much work at the moment. It's very good for the current set of the uh, of the game where it is. I think that the midfield is really good. Fred's a fantastic midfielder. Uh, the rest of the team is really, really good. Uh, we've got John's team now. Uh, I've got about 50,000 coins. Uh, I'm going to work with, uh, sorry, that I've got to work with right now. And I'm willing to save up, play a four triple two in game. Uh, Aguero and Felix are strikers. Love the vid, bro. Keep it the good work. Thank you very much, man. Okay. 
good team. Uh, you got very solid players and very strong players in each position. Looking at it logically, I'm trying to think what the best option and the best route to go with. Because I don't think Aguero is well suited here. Um, how much can you get for Aguero? I'm hoping that he is tradable. I didn't see if he said that he was untradable. I'm have a quick look. You uh, didn't say if he was tradable or not, but you can get 100,000 coins for him. I would say a, a good thing to do here would be... Okay, so you can't necessarily upgrade the team massively how I want you to upgrade the team, if this makes sense. How I want you, that doesn't really... That's not the wording I'm looking for. How I recommend you to upgrade the team. So, end goal, in my opinion here, would be Get yourself Bale at right mid. Get yourself Anthony Martial at right striker. And have Martial, Bale, Sissoko on that right side. Uh, on the left side, upgrading your left back to Furlan Mendy. Uh, getting yourself Eder Militao at right centre back. And getting yourself... It's a hard one for right back. Um, unfortunately, there's no really good Spurs right backs this year. You could go with Region off Kem at, at right back. You could go with Carver Howe or Kappa, or just someone that gets chemistry. Um, the right back spot is a difficult spot this year. Um, alternatively, you could go with uh, Adama Traore at right mid and Nelson Tomato right back. That might also work, although Suzuka will be off chem. But that's how I see your team progressing throughout the stages. And then obviously it's on you to upgrade when you have the coins. So you could sell Aguero and just about scrape Anthony Martial for this week. And you've got a really good right striker there over Aguero. Uh, then next week by rewards on Thursday, you could get yourself Gareth Bale at right mid or you could get yourself uh, Edema Tower at right back, uh, right centre back, sorry. You can get yourself Semedo at right back if you need to. Um, you can get Fela Mendy left back in that in, in, in that regard, whichever position you think needs upgrading the most at that current point. But apart from that, the rest of the team is really good. The left side of the team is actually incredibly strong. I like it a lot. Uh, we've got Joe's team now. I've got 30,000 coins. Gomez, Partey, and Allen untradeable. 442 in game. Wow. Bro, you've been in, incredibly lucky with your untradeables here. Uh, you've got Gomez, Partey, and Allen. That is some really good luck. Um, I would say upgrade your right back to Wamasaka when you can. I think you can afford it with 30,000 coins now. And then you're kind of just sitting on coins and building up the coin balance until you, you want to upgrade more positions. Because the rest of the team is actually incredible. Like, really, really good. Uh, I just think Ryan, uh, Ryan Fredericks is his name, Ryan Fredericks? I think it is. Fredericks out. Uh, Wamasaka in. You've got yourself a winner right there. Uh, very, very, very nice team. Uh, and the last couple now are going to be from Shane and how to FPL. So Shane's team now. Uh, this is my team. Any upgrades? Everyone is tradable and I've got 130,000 coins right now. Could you give me a long-term and short-term upgrades? Uh, can grind for loads of coins. Love the vids and the streams, bro. Keep up the good work. Hey, appreciate it, man. Why is that so small? I So I recently bought a new monitor that's very big. I, I actually genuinely can't see that. I know in previous uh, episodes last year, you say, I can't see it. I actually can't see it. It's that small on my monitor. I genuinely can't see it. Uh, so we'll do how to FPL and uh, we'll do collapses. I'm sorry, Shane, mate. I don't know why it's so small. Let's make sure this one is the right size it is. So uh, 340k in the bank. Mares, VDB, uh, Roussillon, Lucas, Undradable. 442 in game with Mares and Jota at striker. What do I do? Don't play Mares and Jota at striker. I would say is probably the first thing. I would say smart thing for you to do here would be... This team is a bit of a shambles. I'm not going to lie. No offense, by the way. Um, I would say right center back. I would upgrade that massively to... Hmm. Ake. I would then say... I'm confused. Do you play Pudence at right mid? I would then say a right wing, go with Adama Shoyore or Lucas. You've got Lucas on the bench. Go with Lucas, maybe. At striker, I would say go with Gabriel Jesus. And at centre mid, go with Richarlison. Then play Richarlison up top with uh, with, with Gabriel Jesus. Play Sane and, and Lucas at right and left mid. Um, obviously, Van Der Beek and, and Emre Chan as your centre mid. Maybe upgrade Emre Chan to uh, Goretzka as well. Um, I think you've already improved the team tenfold there, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about Luke Shaw as a centre back. And then long-term upgrades for me, I would say Alfonso Davies and Alaba for left-back and left-centre-back. I would say um, Joe Gomez in right-centre-back and potentially Allison in net. Or if you want to go Dean Henderson, go Dean Henderson. I would say Kyle Walker or Nelson Tomato as your right-back. I would say uh, strikers, I would go with Anthony Martial and... Um, who else would I go with a striker here? Aubameyang, maybe? And then going with like maybe Pepe right wing and, and obviously Martial links to Van der Beek. They're the long-term ones. But apart from that, uh, I mean, like Sane's a beast. 
Uh, I guess he could take that away. Uh, and the last one uh, is going to be from... Uh, sorry, we're going to do Bogdan's as well because I feel bad. We've got Claps' team here. 20k willing to save on tradables and Neymar, Thiago, Acuna, uh, Varane, the whole bench. Imagine having Neymar and tradable. Would never be me. Uh, love the base keeper, the good work. Appreciate it, dude. You've got a mental and tradable club. Save up for Fala Mendy. Save up for Fala Mendy over here at left back. Uh, save up for Paul Pogba at right centre mid, and you've got a very strong weekend league team right there. And the last one from Bogdan, I've got 100k liquid, everyone's untradeable, other than my two CBs and Alaba. Uh, second pick is in-game, uh, I play, uh, sorry, second pick's how I play in-game, keep up the good work, mate, I appreciate it, dude, so you start with this, and you play this in-game. Okay, Alaba out, settle him, get yourself Alfonso Davies in, 100%, at left back, Alaba is not the one. Uh, I would then say, at left camp, I'm not, I, like, I, I love Donny van der Beek in real life, but 70 pace is a little bit slow for a midfield this year. I would say, especially next to James Rodriguez, maybe put, um, who am I thinking over here at left centre mid? I'm trying to think of a decent uh, midfielder from the Prem that gets chemistry. That's the only issue. Allen, I know he's only got three extra pace, but that three extra pace is probably a big improvement in my opinion. Um, and then at right back, Nelson Semedo. Obviously, you can't afford all that right now, but that's what I would gear up and go towards. Apart from that, uh, everything else is really strong and you, you've got a really good foundation. That James Rodriguez, by the way, although he's really slow, actually is pretty decent in foot champs. He's, it, the, the, the pace isn't a massive factor because his passing and his distribution is fantastic. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it and I'll see you later. later.